you know, basically if you optimize for fertility, you're optimizing for vitality. So there again, I want to just thank you because that's an extremely efficient, but also extremely sage way to think about optimizing for vitality. So it's not just about wanting to have kids. It's about maintaining all your biological systems at their right tuning. Super helpful proxy. Yeah. Super helpful. What In this case, what do you mean by vitality? Waking up, feeling well enough to want to begin your day mm -hmm. with enough energy to complete your day mm -hmm. and to be able to have, to move back and forth along the continuum of driven and relaxed. Mm-hmm. Eliminating relationships to others as, as a component for the moment. Of course, it is a component, setting that aside rather. What I just described to me is the definition of mental health, the ability to lean into effort, but also to relax and restore your system mm -hmm. and to feel good about what you're doing and being able to move from driven to reflective and these kinds of things. So many people we know don't want to give a geographical, they all left the Bay Area anyway. There, I just said it was a Bay Area. You know, um, successful but miserable we knew a lot of those or people that can't seem to get enough energy to focus and get get down a path of yeah. pursuit so you want both that's vitality to me mm -hmm. and this is getting kind of eastern philosophy which is more your domain than mine and i'm always eager to learn here but you know when you think about chi or kind of dopamine or life energy the desire to create things in the world including offspring but just to birth ideas, birth businesses, birth relationships, birth podcasts, whatever it is, is, is essentially from the same place of having some idea in mind and trying to construct that overcoming fear, your, your notions of fear setting become really relevant here, et cetera. And so vitality has a lot to do with the ability to generate effort with feeling like at least if not a fast upward spiral, at least a slow upward spiral, and certainly not a slow downward spiral or fast I'll downward take, I'll spiral. I'll take any of the upward right. spirals. Right. I mean, I think, you know, I, I'm around a lot of graduate students and postdocs, and you, you see how an early success, like publishing a paper early on in one's career, creates an upward spiral around the whole concept of effort thereafter. You see this in dating and relationships. You see how an early failure can set people along a downward spiral. And so I think that having drive comes from the catecholamines. It's mm -hmm. dopamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine. And sure, you need the serotonergic systems and the endogenous opioid systems that smooth things out. Mm -hmm. But in the absence of that get up and go, mm -hmm. I mean, they, we wouldn't be here. There's no, again, I wasn't consulted the design phase, but you can be pretty sure that this is what allows any animal or human to move toward a, a milestone.